Hi everyone, happy Thursday. Today we are going to go over area and perimeter for math today. We are going to go over area and perimeter of regular shapes and then of irregular shapes as well. Um, hopefully this looks familiar to you. So I've kind of drawn a diagram up here that goes over the difference between area and perimeter. So area really has to do with everything on the inside. So everything in here, we want to know how many we can fit into this rectangle box. And then the perimeter is how much we can fit around the outside. Um, there's two different methods that we can use. For perimeter, we are, sorry, for perimeter, we are going to add every side that we see. So perimeter is the measurement around the outside of an object. To find the perimeter, we add all the sides together. And then that is different from area because in area, that is the measurement of the space or square units inside of an object. You can either count all the squares or you can multiply. Not all of the shapes that you are going to see are already cut into squares for you. Um, if they are not and you just see a regular rectangle like this and you think it's easier to... Um, Count the squares instead. If this is a four up here, then you would just draw and break it into four pieces and then three go this way and then you could count that way. Or if you know that it's four and three, then you could just multiply. So let's go over perimeter for this shape. So we have three squares here, four going across, three going down, and four across. So we're going to add 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. Um, I think it's really helpful that once you put your number in your equation, that maybe you just put a dot next to it to confirm that you went and added every shape. Because when you get to irregular figures, such as this one over here, you really want to make sure that you don't miss any sides. So for this one, 4 plus 3 plus 4 plus 3. 4 plus 3 is 7. And then 4 plus 3 again is 7. When you add 7 plus 7, you get a total of 14. So it's also really important to remember that when we are labeling perimeter, you only label it with what you see. So this one was labeled in inches, so my answer is only in inches. For area, we answer in square inches because we're counting the squares inside of our shape. So now we are going to move on to this problem down here for area. So we can either go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or you can multiply 4 times 3, and that would equal 12 square inches. Again, square inches because you have squares here, and then it is already labeled in inches. Um, all right, so that is area and perimeter for regular shapes. This should all be a review for you guys. Um, we are going to go over and move over to irregular figures that look like this. So for these, we need to make sure that we are labeling each side, even when they are not labeled. So the way we're going to do this is that this is six. This side right here and this side, if I combine them, would equal this right here, this whole line. If I know this is 4, I need to find another number that's going to add to 4 to get 6. So 4 plus what is 6? And that answer, let me use a different color, is 2. So I'm going to label this top area as 2 because 4 plus 2 is 6. Now we have the side length for this long side, which is 5. We know the shorter one is 2, and then we need to find whatever is going to add to 2 to get to 5. So 2 plus what is equal to 5? And that answer is going to be 3 inches. So 3 plus 2 is equal to the, I'm sorry, 3 plus 2 is equal to the total length of 5. So now, for perimeter of irregular shapes, we are going to add every single side together. This is when it would be helpful to have a different color or 
make a dot or a check mark next to each number once you put it into your equation. So I put that two, so I put a check. Five, check. Six, check. Three, check. And I'm putting IN next to all of them because that stands for inches. And then I do not have room for this one, so I'm going to put it at the beginning of my equation. So now when I add them, I should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Perfect. So now we can add them together. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 5 plus 6 is 11. 3 plus 4 is 7. And now we can add all of those together. So, just get the computer just went dark. Okay. So 4 plus 11 is 15. And then 15 plus 7 is going to equal 22 inches. Remember, we only label this in inches because perimeter is only the unit we are measuring by. So now the perimeter of this shape is 22 inches. If I needed to go get a border, I would get 22 inches of border to just fill the outside. Okay, so now let's move on to area. This is the same exact shape as the one right above, but it looks different because I cut it into two smaller shapes. I'm going to explain why, because in area you need to multiply. When you have irregular shapes, you cannot multiply those sides together because you're going to get an area that is not complete. If I multiplied 5 times 6, that means this would be one whole rectangle and it's not. So we don't want this area, so we have to multiply into two smaller pieces, this area here, this area here, and add them together. So I'm going to fill in these sides with what we already know from the previous problem above. And then we are going to now multiply. So in blue is going to be the area of the small one. So I'm going to take 2 times 2. I don't multiply by 5 because 5 represents, sorry, 5 represents this entire line and that's not what we're multiplying by. We're only multiplying this smaller area. So that's going to be 2 inches times 2 inches. This number and this number. 2 times 2 is equal to 4 square inches. So now, we're not done yet. This represents this area up here, and only that area. So now in green, we're going to multiply for this area. And again, I'm going to take numbers to multiply by that did not have to do with this small area. So for example, I'm not going to use 5 to multiply by because again, my green stops here. It doesn't go all the way up and 5 represents this entire line. So instead, I'm going to use this number, 3 inches, and then I'm going to use 6 inches and not 4 because again, 4 stops right here. And my shape didn't stop there. So I use the longer one here, and that's 6 inches. So 3 inches times 6 inches equals a total of 18 square inches. So now this number represents the amount of squares that would fit here. Now the question was, what is the square I'm sorry, what is the area of this entire shape? So now I need to take the area of the blue area and the area of the green area and add them together to get my answer. So I'm, sorry about that. I'm gonna take four square 
inches and add that to 18 square inches. And four plus 18 is gonna get me to a total of 22 square inches. So now you see that both my area and my perimeter for this irregular shape are the same. But that does not always happen. This one we just happen to get lucky on. So today you're going to get some practice with this on your Edge Elastic accounts. You are going to log in and it says review area and perimeter for Thursday. Um, if you're doing the paper-based packet, it is in there as well. Please make sure you send us a picture as soon as it's done and complete. Please let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.